Oh boy, is this a terrific moment for nearly all things biotech, which is why all week we're diving in with our series, Biotech the Next Generation, paying close attention to the huge JP Morgan Healthcare Conference kicked off today. We always learn a ton from this meeting, and this year's Confab is looking like it'll be no different. For example, this morning we got a strong sales update from Kramer Fave Speculative Biotech, Accorda Therapeutics, ACOR for you home gamers. Accorda is the maker of Impura. That's a drug that helps multiple sclerosis patients regain some of their ability to walk, which is also being studied to see if it can do the same thing for stroke victims and people with cerebral palsy. What a big drug. On top of that, the company's developing treatments for spinal cord injuries, neuropathic pain, nasal spray for epileptic seizures, and thanks uh, to its recent acquisition of the privately held Civitas, Accorda now is a promising inhaled dry powder formulation that alleviates some of the symptoms of Parkinson's disease, which is currently in phase three development. The big JP Morgan healthcare meeting, Accorda reported better than expected sales of Impura as, uh, in the fourth quarter. It also gave robust guidance for 2015. Stock has now given us an astounding 78% since we first spoke to the CEO back in June 2012, trouncing the S&P 500 over that same period. It's up more than 20% since we last spoke to him in early October. Can it keep soaring? Let's check in with Dr. Ron Cohen, the president and CEO of Accorda Therapeutics, find out more about how his company's doing and where it is headed. Dr. Cohen, welcome back to Mad Money. Thanks very much, Jim. Great to be here. Ron, how were you able to accelerate sales so aggressively for Impira? I was shocked to see a 21% increase from 2013. What are you doing? Well, we were very excited by the result, Jim. Uh, part of it is that our commercial team and our medical education teams have been just doing a fantastic job out there educating prescribers and patients. And then also what we noticed last year for the first time since launch is we seem to have crossed over that inflection point where now it, Ampira is considered to be standard of care for people with multiple sclerosis who have walking difficulties. And that's a, a watershed event where people are now coming into the office, the doctor sees they're having some difficulty walking, and immediately they think we, we need to try Ampira. Okay, well that, that's a big change. When we first started talking to each other in 2012, you told me that could happen. Why does it take so long? It, you know, it's like anything else that's new. This was blazing new trails. There had never been a medication to improve walking before we were approved in 2010. And it takes a few years to get the message out, get people to try it, see what it does in their own hands, see what people with MS are saying. And after a while, people get educated and they realize and then all of a sudden they, they make that transition. It's now standard of care. Are there people uh, post-stroke who are saying, please, I want to be in the study because I really am having trouble walking and I think that they, this can do the same thing for me? We're, we really are excited about this phase three clinical trial in people who have had strokes or are having difficulty walking. Yes. Uh, people are very excited about it. And for people who are really interested, they should go to our website, www.accorda.com, A-C-O-R-D-A, and right on the home page, you'll see a way to get information about enrolling in the trial. All right, now Parkinson's, uh, just continuing to make some good progress here. Yeah, well, that, uh, another thing we're very excited about, we acquired Civitas, a terrific bunch of folks who've been working on this novel way of delivering L-DOPA, which is the uh, therapy of choice for people with uh, Parkinson's. It gives them back the ability to move properly and so forth. And this is inhaled, so it works very quickly, and that's what the phase two trial showed. We have a phase three trial going on that, and for people with Parkinson's disease who are interested, they can also go to the Accorda.com website and look for information on the trial. And people have to understand, Ron is not being promotional here. He is trying to help you because he knows that I was trying to get someone in these trials. So this is not just, hey, listen, go look at our website. This is actual. If you have these, you want to try them. One last thing. I was surprised, Ron, you're deferring development of that neuropathic pain drug. Is that because there's so much on your plate or because it's not working well? Uh, it's because there's so much in our plate, uh, Jim. We have two full-bore phase three programs. That's late stage. It requires a lot of attention, a lot of investment. We have a very big pipeline of clinical drugs, as you very kindly mentioned, and something had to give. So we're, we're just prioritizing and doing things at the right time, we think. Well, you have just done a great job for shareholders. That's Dr. Ron Cohen, the president and CEO of Accorda Therapeutics. Thank you so much, sir, for being on Mad Money. Thanks so much, Jim. All right, Mad Money's back after the break.